Hi, Dr. McCarthy here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about normal thyroid metabolism. A patient of mine just asked me um, last week about this, so I drew the picture up on the board and explained it to her and said, you know, you can go home and watch the video that I have on my YouTube channel. It turns out I didn't have the video, so today I'm going to make the video. And we're going to talk about why when you go to the doctor and get your TSH tested and you're told, no, your thyroid's normal, why that's baloney, that, that, that's meaningless. And I'm gonna explain that to you right now, and in just a few short minutes, you will understand better than your doctor possibly that TSH by itself is, is ridiculous. That's no way to check what's going on with your thyroid. So we're gonna start first up in your brain. The hypothalamus, many call that the master gland. The hypothalamus is where this all starts. The hypothalamus tells your pituitary gland what to do. The hypothalamus sends out a hormone, thyroid-releasing hormone, TRH. Your pituitary senses that and says, oh, okay, we need some, some energy. So the pituitary kicks out its hormone, TSH, thyroid-stimulating hormone. So thyroid-stimulating hormone, your TSH, comes from your pituitary, a gland in your brain. It doesn't come from your thyroid. So when you check your TSH, it's not telling you what the thyroid's doing. It's telling you what your pituitary is doing. And that piece of information by itself doesn't tell you what's going on in the thyroid. So the TSH gets released and it stimulates your thyroid to release two hormones, T4 and T3. T4 is the majority of the hormone that's released from your thyroid. About 93% is T4 and only 7% is T3. T4 is the inactive form. It needs to get converted into T3, the active form. T3 is the one that has an effect on all your body cells and that gives you energy and improves metabolism. So you check your levels of T4 and your T3. Most, your T4 is the majority of it. That needs to go somewhere inside your body to get converted into T3 so that you can have enough hormone. About 20% of your T4 gets converted into T3 sulfate or T3 acetic acid. Those are inactive, they serve no purpose. Another 20% of that T4 gets converted into reverse T3. Again, an inactive form. And you need to check that, you need to see. If there's too much being converted into reverse T3, that's significant, that's a test that needs to be run. About 60% of your T4 will get converted into T3. This takes place in your liver, in your gastrointestinal tracts, and outside in your body tissues. That's where the conversion takes place. However, we see many times that the TSH is normal, the T4 is normal, but the T3 is very low. That is a conversion problem, most likely because there's congestion in the liver, or there's gastrointestinal tract issues, but your doctor never looked at this, and they never looked at the T3. So they say, your labs are fine, you're normal, but you know you still feel miserable. So you've gotta check the T4 and the T3, make sure that conversion is occurring. Another thing that needs to be checked for is TPO and TGB antibodies, thyroid peroxidase and thyroid globulin antibodies. These are antibodies that your immune system can produce that prevent your thyroid from producing normal T4 and T3. And if that happens, that's an autoimmune thyroid condition, it's called Hashimoto's. It's the number one cause of hypothyroid in the United States, in the world. It's the number one cause of hypothyroid. Most people don't get this checked. We check for this in our office. Now, when you have a high T3 and T4, the, the, there's lots of hormone floating around inside your body, that's picked up by your pituitary gland. The pituitary says, all right, let's slow down on the TSH. See, it's an inverse relationship. That's what the normal relationship's supposed to be. Likewise, when there's low T3 and T4, and you need to produce more of this hormone, that's picked up by your hypothalamus, the master gland, and the hypothalamus will start to release more TRH, making the pituitary release TSH, making the thyroid release T4 and T3. So you see, you can't just look at TSH. It's meaningless. You can't even look at TSH and T4 by itself. You can't do it. You have to look at the whole feedback loop. And if you're not looking at the whole feedback loop, you're being mistreated. So if you have any questions, I want you to call my office now and tell Kathy you want to get the proper testing done to see if you got a thyroid problem, if it's Hashimoto's, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you.